Jordan loved being a policeman, and he would want other police officers to be safe. It's been six months since Mooresville police officer Jordan Sheldon was shot and killed in the line of duty. Last night, you heard from his family for the very first time, his mother, brother, and sister all revealing concerns that Officer Sheldon had when it came to the police department and his safety. In an exclusive interview, they open up about what was going on behind the scenes. He loved being a policeman. Susan Ledford says her son Jordan wanted to be a police officer since he was a child. And we just think he always wanted to be the hero. The Mooresville canine officer was shot during a traffic stop in May, his death shocking the community. When the funeral procession came into Mooresville and every street we went down was lined like three and four deep. You know, that, that was very special to think that people cared that much. But his death also raised more questions about the safety of the department. In an exclusive on-camera interview, his mother, sister, and brother said Jordan was worried about not having appropriate backup, along with missing and malfunctioning equipment. He, he never complained about anything, so for him to say that, it really put it on our radar. The family says he was so worried that he testified along with nearly three quarters of the officers on staff as part of an investigation that began in February, sparked by complaints of a hostile work environment. When I came down here, um, it was clear that the structure of the police department, uh, the command structure it was set up wasn't working. And you're trying to get a copy of his testimony? Correct. And why won't they give you a copy of that? Great question. Mooresville's town attorney told us in an email, since the document constitutes confidential personnel information, the town is prohibited from releasing it. WCNC did obtain testimony from other officers, one saying, many of these issues cause me great concern when it comes to my personal safety, especially the department failure to train and failure to provide equipment that works. Another officer's testimony said, this agency needs help. I am not the only one that fears for my safety. Is that police officers already have a notoriously dangerous job and they shouldn't have this worry from their own department that they may not have what they need or that it may not work correctly. The interim chief tells me he continues to go through policies and procedures to see what needs to be changed, but says that will take time. Of course, we'll continue to follow any developments with this story right here on NBC Charlotte.